Multnomah County warming shelter sites opening today as the snow and ice arrived. Joyce O'Gary live at the Market Street Shelter in Southeast Portland. Joyce, fill us in. Some warming shelters are reaching capacity, but Multnomah County says they're trying to do their best to make accommodations and not turn anyone away. We're getting people housed, warm and safe. Because these conditions are so dangerous. Multnomah County doubling its shelter capacity, more than 700 beds available at 10 warming shelters. The nonprofit Friendly House served as a warming shelter, taking people in, handing out clothes, and making sure everyone had something to eat. Many came to find a warm place to stay. The, the snow, the cold. Um, yeah, I actually, I actually have a membership here, and um, it's an excellent, excellent place. It's, it's, it's Friendly. The Blanche House also giving out clothes, hats, gloves, tents, and sleeping bags. The nonprofit tells Coin6 it has meals ready to go in advance of the storm. We still have sack lunches. We have items that don't need to be warmed up or cooked. Uh, we won't be able to serve coffee if we lose power, but we'll be able to get people something to eat. Cold, wet, and windy weather can be deadly for anyone spending long periods of time outside. A major concern, frostbite, that can happen in less than an hour. Frostbite usually comes out uh, to fingers, toes, and ears. Uh, people can feel numbness, paleness, and loss of sensation in those areas. So it's important to reintroduce warmth slowly. If you want to check on someone, call the police non-emergency number. But if you see someone outside that's in danger, call 911. Live in Southeast Portland, Joyce O'Geary, Coin6 News. Thanks, Joyce.